Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to do another thrift flip. And I have a pair of Lucky brand jeans here. They're not bad, but the bottom is flared, which that really is coming back into style. Um, so I'm kind of might regret cutting these. It's kind of a scary risk to take because Lucky Brand's a really popular jean, but I did already do another flip with uh, Lucky Brand jeans to shorts and somebody bought them. So I was like, you know what? That gave me some faith and some confidence to do another pair. So here I am today. I have definitely gotten a lot better. Um, those pants, I'm actually wearing them right now. They're very, very short. So I only wear them inside the house, but I'm going to cut them and show you guys how I hem the bottom. It's a lot easier. I don't even know if it's actually called hemming, but you guys will see what I'm talking about. But I'm gonna show you guys how to do that today since the other one um, did really well. So I wanna show you guys how to do it on another pair of jeans so i'm really excited so you are going to need a nice sharp pair of scissors if you don't have a sharp pair of scissors this can definitely make it a lot more difficult because you are going to be cutting the same piece and it's not going to be straight because cutting the same piece is going to result in an unstraight line it's just gonna be a lot harder for you so i do suggest having a pair of scissors that are pretty sharp to do this some needles or pins is what you're gonna do is pin the pants so that when you go and sew them you can get a straight line and then just a tape measure because you want to see how long you want to make them usually most pants are around 36 inches honestly just make them whatever size that you want but the size that i usually do is 36 you want to leave yourself a little bit of extra space because sometimes you can make a mistake and if you cut them too short there's nothing you can do about it but if you do cut them too long you can always cut them it is a little bit harder once you have already cut the jeans because to get a straight line from both sides is a little bit harder so you do want to try to do it right on the first time but i always suggest making your shorts a little bit longer so that you can always cut off extra like i said if you decide you want to make them shorter but you can't always make them longer does that make sense okay so i'm just gonna get right into this and show you guys how i do it okay so the first thing that i am doing here is i am just measuring the pants to see what the correct size is that I want to use. When I finally make the decision on what size I want to make the shorts, I then take a pencil or a pen and just kind of draw along the line where the ruler is. That way I am able to cut a straight line when I am ready to cut the shorts. So now I am cutting the jeans. I'm really scared because cutting a straight line is still really hard even though you have a straight line that's drawn on the jeans. But like I said before, having a sharp pair of scissors really helps to have that straight cut line. So I'm just cutting through the jeans here to do the shorts. So now you are just going to be doing the same thing to the other side. So the next thing that you are going to do is you're going to measure the shorts to see what length you want them to be. So I decided to go with 36 inches and then I rolled them up 32 to 31 inches as you can see here. I now have them rolled and I just measure each side to make sure that I have them at 31. I want to make sure that both sides are even so that is what I'm doing here. Just making sure they are even on both sides so I can pin them up and sew them. So now that I have everything pinned, I am now going to start and sew. I sew along the seam where the shorts are already attached and I just sew along that line there so that the fold stays in the shorts and doesn't come undone. So that is what I'm doing here. Then as you can see here, I am now going to be posting it on Poshmark. This is how I usually thrift and flip my items. I really like doing this, it's really fun, and um, a lot of people actually like to buy 
um, thrifted items. So if you guys do too, I'm posting these shorts on my Poshmark. So if you guys are interested, you guys can go over and check them out. So um, that's what I'm doing here. Just listing my item here on Poshmark. <laughs> Okay, so I have officially finished. I have really bad allergies right now. I went for a walk this morning with my friend through this neighborhood that has lots of trees, and I didn't take my allergy medication, so I'm sorry if I sound all stuffed up. But um, this is what they came out to look like. Oops. The fringe ended up coming out, so I started picking at it a little bit. Um, you don't have to do that, but when you do cut the jeans against the hem of the jean, they are going to distress like that so i like that a lot uh, but this is the back and i really like these and i when i pick them up i pick them up basically because the back of this for some reason this sells so i was like these are really cute so i really liked how they came out so i just posted them on my poshmark so we'll see if anybody wants to purchase them if you guys want to purchase them you guys can go on to my poshmark and my username is lauren payone so if you guys like this video and want to see more videos like this then give it a thumbs up mm -hmm.